Right lads, I'm your host, Amanis Kebab, and a lot has happened since I was gone. I was gonna soundproof in here, but I decided to buy a green screen instead. I got more than three Wii U games, and I got another copy of Wii Music. This one is cardboard. But most importantly, I played through a game that my friends have been asking me to cover for a while, and that is Metroid of the Ram. Black was released in February of 2006 on PS2 and Xbox, and later received a release on Xbox 360 in 2008. The developers, Criterion, wanted to make the game as realistic as possible, with a gritty, black operation storyline, loud and accurate to form guns, and realistic reactions to your character being hit. Graphically, it looks pretty good for a game released in 2006, at what was near the end of the 6th generation, and the game itself is hailed as one of the cult classic shooters of its era. But the real question is, does it still hold that status? Why has it gone dark? Story-wise, it's an interesting enough concept for the time. Your character is Jack Keller, a CIA black ops operative who has been questioned on the actions of a no-no group, the Seventh Wave. All cutscenes occur at a table in an interrogation room, leading me to believe that this game had some influence on the stories of Black Ops 1 and Battlefield 3. Keller recalls his previous missions over the past four days, largely taking place in Ingochech... that place, and Chechnya in Russia, in search of a bad guy called Lennox. Battle bad guys in factories, towns, and docks, and that's pretty much how the story goes. It's not a bad story, but it's not exactly anything groundbreaking, possibly at the time, but with today's standards, meh. Gameplay wise, this game is pretty fun. It's pretty reminiscent of other shooters of the early 2000s, like Halo or Perfect Dark. Smooth, but also slightly sluggish gameplay by modern standards, with aiming being a tad more difficult. You were limited to carrying only two weapons, with ammunition for them, along with med packs being scavenged off the field. Again, like the first Halo game. The weapon arsenal itself is pretty impressive, with anything from the classic AK to the Magnum. I played through the entire game on normal mode, and it was okay difficulty wise. However, checkpoints are very unreliable and few and far between. The AI themselves are also quite inconsistent, sometimes struggling to even aim at you, while others, like the RPG guy, can snipe you across the map. They're also either A, killed in one shot, or B, tank 50 rounds like they've just downed a six pack of druids. Just for context, druids is an Irish drink that's drank by people who like to swim in rivers and canals that happen to have trolleys in them. Level design is pretty much as linear as it gets. Sometimes you'll encounter an open area, however the choice of where to go is still very limited. However, we do have destructible environments such as walls, windows, and doors, which allow us to access other routes in areas. The missions themselves range in variety, and have both main and side objectives. The side objectives mostly being to find or destroy intel, which is... Most missions have the option of either doing them stealthily, or just... Did I mention the guns are allowed? The gun sounds in this game are possibly some of the best, and worst I've ever heard. Best because they sound badass as f but worse because the ringing in your ears after playing this game for more than 10 minutes does tend to get a tad annoying. There's also this weird blur that you get when you reload, and that's about it for this game. At the time, Black received pretty good scores, usually between a 7.5 and an 8.5, and to this day, I can see why it received them scores. I had a lot of fun playing through this game, and the story, although not the most grasping thing in the world, is compelling enough to keep your attention throughout the playthrough. However, the real question is, would I play this game again if I was asked to? Maybe, but probably not. I can see why it gets its praise, and I do agree with it. However, unlike some of my friends who have asked me to cover this game for a while, I never played this game as a youngin. I was more of a Crash of the Titans guy. Stay tuned for that, by the way. In like 10 months time. So I don't share their sense of nostalgia towards it. But hey, if you're looking for a sixth generation shooter to pick up, this is definitely one I'd recommend. After this one, of course. 